Hello YouTube, this is Basic Chemistry's second video and this in this video we will cover the periodic table and some of its properties. So in the last video, we learned that an atom is made out of electrons, protons, and neutrons. And remember that in the last video I told you guys that you can identify what element an atom is just by looking at their just by looking at the number of electrons, protons and neutrons they have. And that is true and you guys can do it too looking at the periodic table. So in the last video I'll use the same example. This is an atom of helium and in the periodic table helium is right here. You guys can right away notice this these two letters here and the name of the element which is helium so this is just a name and this is something called the atomic symbol and this number two right here this is something called the atomic number And this decimal number right here looks kind of complicated, but it's actually not. This is called the atomic mass. So I will explain what each of these mean. So the atomic symbol. Symbol. It's basically a symbol that identifies an element so obviously the atomic symbol is different for all elements in the periodic table so helium is he hydrogen is h lithium is li beryllium is be and so on and elements like fluorine oxygen nitrogen they all have one letter um atomic symbols and most other elements have two and in the case of helium it has two because it has he so the atomic number i'll just represent number in this shape so i'll just represent numbers as this or actually now I'll just write number so we saw that the atomic number of helium was 2 so what does this 2 mean? so this 2 basically means the number of electrons E minus E minus is electron and the number of protons so because helium has an atomic number of 2 it has two protons and two electrons that's two protons and two electrons and let's look at a different example for let's say um lithium i'll draw a lithium atom here the lithium atom has three electrons and it has three protons because as you can see its atomic number is three hence it has three e minuses and three protons i'll give you guys a different example and you guys can guess how many protons and electrons it has so let's look at carbon So how many protons and how many electrons does carbon have? You can feel, you guys can pause the video and try guess. And if you guys said six electrons and six protons, you guys are correct. Just quickly drawing what carbon is. It has four electrons and four actually six electrons six protons so that's what 
an atomic number is, it basically tells you how many protons and electrons there are in a neutral atom. So, and then we have the atomic mass. So in case of helium is 4.0026 or simplified to 4. So atomic mass Atomic mass is basically the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Now this is not the definition of the atomic mass. The definition of the atomic mass is a little more complicated. Um, it basically tells us how many grams of this substance there is in one mole of this substance. and. The mole concept will be covered in a future video, but in this video, you guys just need to know that the atomic mass is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So I drew the helium atom here before, and then you guys can notice that it has two electrons and two protons because its, atom it's, its atomic number is two, and then it also has two neutrons. And this is because it has two protons, Right? We know that it has two protons from its atomic number. And we know that atomic mass is number of protons plus number of neutrons. So if we say that protons are x and neutrons are y, we know that x, in case of helium, it's 2. So it's basically 4 equals 2, 2 plus y. And in this case, we all know that y is 2. So that's why helium has two neutrons, because two neutrons plus two protons equals to the number of four. So ignoring the protons and neutrons. So let me just write it again. Just don't look at these first. Ignore the protons and neutrons. And just look at the numbers. It's two and two. So if you add two and two, it gives you four. And that's basically what the atomic mass is. So let me give you another example. Um, so in case of beryllium, its atomic number, uh, its atomic mass actually is about nine. And we already know that beryllium has four protons. And we're just going to ignore electrons because they are irrelevant in finding the number of neutrons. And you guys can pause this video and find out how many protons, how many neutrons, sorry, it has. And note that if you add the number of protons and neutrons, it has to equal to 9. So if you guys said it has 5 neutrons, that's correct. So in this video, we just covered what the atomic symbol, number, and mass is. And in the next video, we'll cover um, some of the properties of the periodic table.